I'm very aware that my flatmates can hear me recording a video in the kitchen, which is a communal space. I probably should have asked permission. I don't have a video for tomorrow, so I thought, why not go back to the YouTuber basics? Making a fajita pie and answering some questions. To make a fajita pie, you're gonna need some tortillas, a sweet potato, some garlic. You don't need garlic, but I, I'm having garlic. Some pepper, some onion, some mushrooms, some cheese. Again, not necessary, but some tortilla chips. Fajita sauce, again, not necessary, but Yum. Some chicken, a grater, a frying pan, baking tray, and some vegetable oil. Let's just get started. I've never been popular enough on YouTube to have millions of people ask me questions and want answers. So when I tried to on Instagram, I got two participants, but <laughs> I still got two participants. If you want to know how to make a fajita pie, uh, it's a video on Facebook that I'm following and I've just kind of made it more easy for me. But I will also post down in the description that video. I had an amazing video planned with a good friend of mine. You may know her, Books Eat Nerds, Harriet Soden. And it was going to be dubbing our um, Harry Potter opening of Harry Potter. And then suddenly, <laughs> when I upload it, this seven minute masterpiece, um, we're just kindly informed by YouTube that that's not fair and that's not allowed, so I'm blocked worldwide and no matter what I did, they weren't accepting that video. It seems fine with all my other Harry Potter videos, um, especially ones where I've used Harry Potter footage for way longer than seven minutes, but sh we won't talk about that. So, very upset Jasmine decided, what can I do in this one day? And I thought, why not? Do something that all YouTubers should do. Answer questions and make food. If you want to see my amazing video about Harry Potter with Miss Bookseat Nerds Harriet Sagan, um, my Twitter link is down below. And it's literally the first five videos you come across because Twitter only allow you tw two minutes and 20 seconds upload. So that's why I've had to separate it a bit. Um, currently what I am doing, I am cutting peppers and onions and I defrosted the chicken and I'm going to put that on the baking tray with some oil and the fajita sauce and I'm gonna leave it for 20 minutes I think as the recipe asks me. God knows editing Jasmine will put the real time if I'm wrong. From Jack of Planet Earth is talk about Disney. Early September I went to Disneyland. Humble brag. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I really, really, really want to go again. I'm thinking about going when I'm 25 for my 25th birthday, so like saving now for then, but we shall see where the wind takes us. To talk about Disney, I'm going to focus it on a lesson I very much learned at Disneyland. If you chafe, take some measurements to make sure that you don't come out of Disneyland with red, raw thighs like I did. I'm a bit of a chubby girl, or I, I was more of a chubby girl around going to Disneyland Paris and I had red raw thighs and in the queue I would stand like this and walk like this so my thighs didn't have to touch. It was so painful. So if I was you, if I had any recommendation, it's pack some measurements in case of going to Disneyland and in case you chafe. Just do that kindness to yourself. Next step to add the oil, and then the next step is to add the baking the sauce. Now's the messy bit, you just mix the sauce with the stuff. This is so grim, I'm so glad you can't see what it is. Excuse me. When that gets to 200, we can put it in for 20 minutes. So next question is from Nikus. Nixus. Nicole, what is your username? Is it Nixus or Nicus or Nixus or Nicus? I don't know. Nicus asked me to talk about my favourite animal and favourite Christmas tradition. My favourite animal is a cat. My favourite Christmas tradition is 
mistletoe. Yeah, I'm gonna say mistletoe. Maybe this year I'll be kissed under the mistletoe. It's always been like a source of comedy or romantic um, within my family and the people around it. Nikos also asked me, what's something you want to do this summer? Recently, I've been watching an account called Memo O'Brien and she specialises in LARP, which stands for Live Action Role Play, which means make believe for adults. When I was watching Momo and Brian's channel and saw all these amazing LARPs that people had created, like horror or Penny Dreadfuls or um, Hogwarts style wizardry schools, I just got really excited and I really, really, really want to do one myself. If you're interested, in my description I have a Pinterest and I've made a LARP mood board, which is basically loads of mini characters I've come up with, little things to do with them, and I've given them names, and given them little professions, and I'm just so happy, they all look so perfect. Maybe, hopefully, sometime next year, you'll be introduced to my personal original characters that I'm hoping I can either use in a LARP, or in a film, or just make little videos in a LARP because I really, really like this idea. So, the next step is to put some oil on the frying pan to stop it from sticking, and to get your tortilla. Take a tortilla and um, put it at the bottom. That is your base, and then you make more around so you have a bigger base. Yes. Now, depending on how big your frying pan is, some recipe, well, the recipe says eight. I've only needed five at this point. And I'm literally using the last one put on top. It's put one tortilla to the side to go on top and get your tortilla chips and pour them in at the bottom. And they're gonna be a further base. If you wanna crush them, you can. Put your frying pan to the side and start to grate some cheese. Put the cheese on top of your tortilla chips. So um, when you put your fajita stuff, it will melt. Look at this cocky so-so. Look at her silly face. Okay, let's put that on here. Ha! So the next question I got was from Nicole, again, love you mate, who asked me, what are some organizations you're currently liking the work of? I'm gonna go for a filmmaking company that I've currently really liked the work of, Apatow Productions. I have never seen Anchorman and I've never seen uh, forgetting Sarah Marshall until this year where I watched one of their films called Juliet Naked and I absolutely fell in love with it and I've never really watched or read Nick Hornby's books but Juliet Naked completely got to me and it's seen as one of his least good least good ones. I'm very happy with their production company I think they did it very well and maybe one day I will see the rest of their films. After you've put your filling all in, you need to take the last one and put it on top. So in the end, your fajita pie should look like that. So I'm going to put it in at 190 for 30 minutes. Enjoy little guys! Have a fun time! So with that, I'm finishing my video! Here will be some shots of the fajita pie in all its glory. It's probably going to be very sad and maybe a little bit burnt. But oh well! I'm very happy I did this. It is day! Oh god, that looks burnt. That looks horribly burnt. With that... Ooh, with that, I now night you. Nice. Awesome. Goodbye.